Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Once again, if you guys haven't read by the title already, this video will just basically be me talking about like oily face products, like makeup related products that I have been in love with for if not months, probably like a good year because I did start wearing makeup around the age of like 15 and I am 16 right now. So there has been some products in here that I just added onto it and I've been obsessed with ever since I did get them or there's been some products as I said that I have had for a good while now and I really want to share it with you guys because I know there's a lot of girls out there with oily skin, girls, boys, however you guys would like to identify yourself as. So I definitely understand when it comes to oily face because something I had to deal with my whole life and it kind of sucks let's just say that basically when I wake up in the morning it's like if somebody would have just dumped a whole bucket of oil onto my face and that's how, how that's how bad it is or let's say I can't go like I can't be showering every other day when it comes to my hair because I've been told multiple, multiple, multiple times that it's really bad to be like washing your hair every day. And trust me guys, I've I've heard I've heard a lot about that. But if you guys knew how oily my hair really was, like like it's not just my face that's oily, it's my hair as well, which just makes it ten times worse. But I've just learned to deal with it. I have to shower every single day. Like I can't be doing the whole like every other day showering because it i just i cannot do that at all but let's just go ahead and get started with this video all right guys so right here in front of me is just some products or like the products that i use um yeah let's just go ahead and get started with primers this is a primer that i use the shine killer by nyx I'm not saying it's the best because I'm still definitely looking for one that can do a better job than this. I feel like it gets its job done. Like you could definitely feel it like it mattifies your skin. It does its job. It's just not the best. But if you guys are looking for like a primer, this one would definitely be one that I recommend. All right guys, so something that I also did purchase is this MAC oil control lotion. And I feel like this on top of the um, NYX primer definitely really, really, really helps. And then on top of this, I do um, like my foundation and everything else. But these two, this combination really, really, I like this combination a lot. And also moisturizing, I feel like that's definitely a huge, huge, huge part of like your whole makeup routine. So an amazing, amazing moisturizer that I've been using for a couple weeks now. And I feel that like it doesn't break me out at all. And my skin does tend to be pretty sensitive. It's this Clinique um, Moisture Surge. That's what it's called. It's a little, it's not that pricey, you know, it's a little pricey, but it definitely is worth it. I've never been obsessed with the moisturizer as much as I have been with this one, so I definitely recommend you guys, if you guys are looking for a moisturizer, this is a really, really, really good one. And they do have different sizes, so if you guys do want to purchase, um, like, a larger size, you can go ahead and do that. This one, I believe, was $20, $25 around there. Another thing that I've had for a couple months now, and I use it as a moisturizer as well, it's this Bobbi Ground, Bobbi Brown, wow, I can't talk. Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And it's just like this. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of YouTubers use it. I've used like a good amount now. It definitely lasts. This, it smells delicious. It smells amazing. No, maybe delicious wasn't the right word. But this was, I believe, like $60. I really, really, really do like it. And once again, it my face is sensitive. So I feel like this, this really does its job. Alright guys, so for setting powders, there are two that I've been using for a cool minute now. I use this Mary Kay just mineral powder foundation. It's just setting powder, but it is slightly tinted. And it's just like literally setting powder. 
Uh, my aunt does sell Mary Kay, so that's how I get these. Um, this has been, this was the first, not this container specifically, but uh, Mary Kay setting powder was the first um, setting powder I did use. So I've been using Mary Kay setting powder for years, I will admit, years. But okay, um, this is another one that I actually purchased maybe about a month ago. I got it at Ulta. This luxury baking powder, the banana powder by Makeup Revolution. It is amazing, guys. When I, I repeat, amazing. All right, so for foundation. Let's start off with um, just drugstore. I only have three foundations, so they're kind of the ones that I've been sticking to for a cool minute now. This um, Matte and Poreless, I believe the Maybelline, yeah, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless was the second foundation I ever purchased. And I've definitely bought a good amount of bottles of these foundations because that's just how good it is. I just wish it had a pump because pumps really make your life a lot easier. But guys, I recommend this foundation. It's drugstore. There's the variety of shades is amazing it has all undertones like i promise you guys will definitely find your shade and it's drugstore so that means that it's definitely an affordable affordable foundation i think it's really cheap for like its job so i i really really recommend this so the second foundation is the maybelline as well the superstay 24 hour foundation Okay, so let me get, let me give you guys a little story about this. I did purchase this when it had just came out, but my skin sometimes is just super weird and decides to just get dry patches everywhere, guys. Like I mean everywhere. So this is an extremely matte foundation. So extremely matte and dry patches on your skin does not go well at all. So if you do have like textured skin, I wouldn't really recommend this foundation. I would recommend more of the Fit Me foundation because this one just really holds on to those like dry patches in your skin and it does not look cute. So I stopped using this completely and I just started using it again maybe a week ago and I love it. I love it so much. So for the third and last foundation is my Estee Lauder Holy Grail foundation is a little pricey as well um this is like the pricey one and then the other ones are like drugstore obviously maybelline um this one i believe was like around 50 dollars around there guys but a little bit does go a long way it's i definitely say it's more of a medium i don't know why i just smelled it but it's definitely more of a medium coverage you could definitely build it up to a full coverage oh i forgot to say um this one is definitely like a light coverage when you start but then you can definitely build it up like i promise you guys can build it up and it will not look cakey at all this one i will definitely consider it medium to full coverage you can build it up as well it's just that this one is a lot more thicker than this one so you just need to be more careful with the super stay if you do want to like build up the um, coverage and stuff i know i know a lot of you guys may be like ellie why didn't you buy this before honestly guys i have no idea i wanted to buy this since like middle school i believe like eighth grade like when i kind of started to wear like some concealer and stuff like that but i bought i bought blotting paper and i know i i just bought it when i've had oily face my whole life i love this so so much i actually got this for forever 21 i believe for like 390 or 290 something like that guys and i love it so 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 much and it does come with like a good amount so it's i i'm sure most of you guys already own blotting paper especially the guys have oil the skin i'm sure you guys are a lot smarter than me and bought that way before than i did but if you don't 10 to 10 recommend all right so for the last things in this video um i will be showing you guys setting sprays um this mario badescu rose water setting spray 
primer thing. I use this as both a primer and as a setting spray and I really, really, really do like it. As I said, I do have sensitive skin. So this, this is honestly an amazing thing. It's already my second one. And then um, for an actual like setting, setting spray, I got the like travel sized um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I just purchased this not that long ago as well. And I really, really, really like it. So I definitely say it's something that works with my skin a lot. And the last thing is the Wet n Wild Setting Spray. Literally, Wet n Wild Setting Spray. Affordable, great. Like, um, this one, I believe this one was like five, six dollars. I don't quite remember, but it's definitely affordable. Like, Wet n Wild is such an amazing brand. And everything is so cheap, like, for how good the brand is, I honestly think it's amazing. I believe the Mario Badescu is like $14, $15, but it was, I like it. It's already my second bottle, so if you guys could tell, something I really, really like. And I believe this all-nighter spray, I don't want to lie, but I'll put the price somewhere here. Because I honestly don't remember, but I got this at Ulta. I got this one at Ulta as well. I believe I got this at CVS. I don't know. But anyways, um, that's basically all the products I wanted to show you guys. As I said, I have had oily skin my whole life. So I do know what it's like to have oily skin. So I don't know. I really, really, really hope that this video actually helped some of you. I know that I don't get a lot of views of my videos. But I definitely do want to start posting a lot more. I want to start sharing more of like my tips and stuff like that. So if you, if like any of you guys do have oily skin, I definitely recommend like all the products I just showed you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions, any questions, any comments, you can go ahead and leave them down below like always. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, my username will be right here. And you can go ahead and follow me and get me to 1 million. Just kidding. No, I have like 20 followers. So y'all should go ahead and follow me. But um, yeah, I, I, I have a couple of ideas like regarding like makeup and stuff that I definitely do want to film. So um, yes, any suggestions, I'll definitely take them. Yeah. So I just once again want to thank every single person who watched this video. It honestly means a lot to me the fact that I am now being a YouTuber. Like that sounds so crazy to actually say out loud because like I don't know if you guys like you guys might know you guys might not know. Um, I would film YouTube videos when I was like eight or nine years old, and I still have them. Like if you guys want me to show them, I haven't seen them in a good minute so i definitely want to show you guys that just to really show you guys how like how happy i am to actually be doing youtube even though i don't really post a lot but as i said school is gonna start and i did have a job i mean i still do but i like hardly work now so that's why i'm like now starting to upload more or whatever but yeah anyways i will definitely see you guys in my next video and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe